let me show you how to do the three needle bind off. It's a method of seaming where you keep the stitches to be seamed on their respective needles and you use a third needle to knit the two sets of stitches together. So you're going to hold the two needles with the stitches to be seamed together in a parallel way, just like I have here. You're going to take the end of yarn, because you're going to have cut your yarn, so you're going to cut a long enough tail to be able to seam up the number of stitches you need. This is a very short seam, so we don't need much. For longer seams, you'll need more. You're going to hold the yarn in your right hand, and then you're going to treat both stitches with your right, new right hand needle as if to knit. So you're going to go into the first stitch on the front needle as if to knit, and then you're going to immediately go into the first stitch on the back needle as if to knit. So if you look, you can see that the, the right hand needle has now gone through both the first stitch on the front and the first stitch on the back needle. You're going to then take your yarn tail, wrap it behind as if to, you're knitting, and so you're going to then knit the back stitch over and release, and then you're going to pull the front stitch over and release. And you now have one stitch on your needle. So you had one front, one back, you knit them both together into one stitch. So that started to create a seam. You've treated your first stitch, you're now going to go in and you're going to do the same thing with the next stitch on the front needle and the next stitch on the back needle. So you're going into both stitches as if to knit. You're again wrapping the yarn behind. You're knitting. On the back needle, you're going to release that stitch. So you're going to have knit a stitch on the back. And then you're going to release the stitch. You're going to pull that over the yarn on your right needle, the front stitch on the needle. And again, you're going to have knit two stitches into one. Now we have to do the bind off part because we've now moved these two sets of stitches into one stitch, but you notice we still are going to have, we still have two stitches. So now you're going to go and do a pretty normal bind off. So you're going to use your left hand needle to get the first stitch on your right hand needle and pull it up and over the loop on your right hand needle. The, the, newest loop on your right hand needle. And so now we've bound off a stitch. So now we need to knit the next two stitches together. So we're going to take the right hand needle, put it in through the front stitch and in through the back stitch. Use the yarn to knit them both together, pulling them over one at a time. So we've now knit two stitches into one, and we now need to bind off another stitch because we have two stitches on our right needle. So we're gonna pull the second stitch up and over the first stitch on the right-hand needle. And we're gonna keep repeating that. We're gonna keep knitting together one stitch from the front needle and one stitch from the back needle and then binding off the old stitch, pull it up and over the new stitch on the right needle. And we're going to keep repeating this until we've bound off every stitch that needs to be seamed. So we're going to pull this up and over. When we get to the last one, it's the same, we're going to knit them together just as we did with the others. When we get to the last stitch, we're going to knit them together just as we did every other stitch. Then we have two, the two final stitches. We're going to take our left needle, lift that final, the earlier loop up over the last loop that we just made, 
And then what you can do is you basically, you'll pull your yarn end through to secure the seam. So now that's not going anywhere. And that you've now created a seam of those two ends together. Sometimes it's done on the outside as we did here where you've got, we did it, we did the right sides together and it can form a bit of a decorative edge or, a, or an edge for emphasis. Or you could also do it on the reverse side, in which case you can see you'll have a more invisible seam. And that is the three needle bind off.